there are many people who used to behave well until they met an environment that began to plant in a wrong seed the first example of influence in the bible i don't have the time but the first example of influence in the bible was between the serpent and eve <laughs> the bible says when god created man and woman he gave them instructions that you can eat of the tree uh, everywhere but that which is in the middle of the garden you should not touch and then the bible tells us that the serpent was more subtle that's how it starts that the serpent was more subtle than all the beasts of the field that the lord had created and that he came to eve we don't know how many times he kept coming to propose but he came with a proposal and said did god really say that in the day you eat of that fruit you will die he said certainly god said so he said let me tell you something you don't know god is insecure he's hiding something from you he knows that the day you eat of that tree you will become like god knowing good and evil then the bible says when the woman saw that the tree was good for food and that it could make one wise she ate and gave her husband who was there with them with her then the bible says their eyes were open influence there is no record of the serpent using a sword there is no record of the serpent tying down and say you must eat of this influence is very powerful you can make men do things say things and be things even without physical contact with them it then means that if we are to take over we must understand the spiritual technology that exalts us to a position where we can influence the mindset the thinking of a generation to become pro-christ evangelism is the first step but it does not stop there in addition to evangelism like we saw yesterday there are many people who will run to jesus because someone they love and admire ran to jesus there are many people who will run away from jesus because someone they admire said jesus was unnecessary every time i teach on influence i would always like to state this imagine if um just for for discussion michael jackson ever shouted jesus christ is lord even if it was a mistake he will win more souls than many crusades combined just for using his influence he's been dead many years and still their records still sell today more than many businesses that have been laboring even in prayer that is the power of influence are we together the late dr miles monroe would say the world is still being ruled by dead men the ideas of dead men is still what has kept living people trapped till today the philosophies that came whether governmental philosophies all kinds of ideas nations today ha, have been impoverished because of ideas that came from people that are long gone hallelujah i visited south africa many times and every time i'm there i'm amazed at the legacy that the late nelson mandela left for the people he so influenced that nation to a point that respectfully speaking it, it was almost as though if he were to be put in a class that is not human it would be better for you to offend someone than to touch and tamper with the legacies of nelson mandela i remember one time i was told that when south africa were trying to lobby I think to host the world cup or something like that there was all kinds of confusion and mandela was sent to go to the place of the negotiation as soon as he stepped there they all got up greeted him and that was the end of discussion can you imagine that influence it is god's desire that you get to a place where your appearance is like the manifestation of god to, i'm not talking of human worship but that your life is so compelling you can make people to drop bad habits in a moment something about the dexterity of your life the quality of your carriage will compel people to begin to make noble decisions that just by the mere look at you many people begin to correct and reorder many things about their lives if you're with me say amen yeah. 